animals, dogs in particular, they are a non-judgmental presence. They really offer that opportunity for someone to be expressive without having to worry. When Devin was here, I was a direct care worker. I would always remember him being with our therapist, Liz, in her office to kind of be with her and her clients when they would meet one-on-one. -on -one. I think that would help relax some of the girls, you know, just to have him in there and be able to pet him. Devin is a really sweet spirit. He really is. I worked with a family very early on. It was within the first week that Devin and I were partnering together. One of the parents was really uncomfortable about the prospect of being in counseling. And I remember Devin got up, moved over to that parent, laid down, really offered an opportunity for the parent to just reach over and sob and pet him. Um, it had a real big impact because here I was a stranger working with someone that was really uncomfortable, um, addressing a very tragic sexual assault that had happened. And Devin was there to help bridge that, that relationship. So that's when I knew like, this is gonna work really well. <laughs> A lot of the individuals that we're working with have experienced some form of trauma, whether that be abuse, neglect, or something else. But I think when they get to interact with a dog like Devin, it kind of takes away all of the people for a moment and gives that real connection with an animal. He is very intuitive when people are feeling sorrow or despair, then he's more inclined to go and approach them and comfort them. For them to have a normalized family home feeling here, I think Devin adds to that as well. And I would hope that in the future, you know, reflecting back on the experiences with Devin and at Angel House would help them in being stronger in their future.